Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create this amazing neon glow effect to clothing and footwear to really make your portraiture photography stand out. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel then you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related. Start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Now in this tutorial guys I'm going to show you how you can create this neon glow clothing effect in Photoshop 2020 to really make your portraiture photography stand out. Now I've already made a similar video to this, you can look find it in the link in the description and this is how to create lines in uh, Photoshop and make it look like a neon glow. But in this particular tutorial I'm going to show you how you can apply this to clothing and footwear. And this is quite a unique effect and it will really make your photos stand out. So if you want to have a look at any of the pre-selected photos that I found this effect really works well with, then have a look in the link in the description and you'll find a link where it will take you to my website where you can download all of those photos for free. But again guys, you can always use a photo of your choice. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so the very first thing you want to do is choose an image. Now if you want to have a look at any of the pre-selected images, uh, go ahead to the link in the description and you can download them there. And I've got three photos that you can choose from. So uh, we've got uh, the photo that I'm going to be working with today, or photo one. Uh, we've got photo two, which is a nice pair of shoes. And then we've got photo three, which you can apply the glow to the Respect logo on the jumper. But today we're going to be working on photo one. So once you've uh, opened the image in Photoshop, as you can see, we've already got the glow applied, but today I'm going to talk you through step by step on how to create this effect. So this is what the effect looks like afterwards, but today what we're going to do, we're just going to delete that and we're going to work on the glow. So firstly, you want to work out what area you want to add the glow to. So in this particular image, I want to add it to the logo on the front of the jumper. But what I also want to do is add the glow to the edge of the sleeves. As you can see, this gray area that you can see just on the arm. So basically all the gray area. And what we want to do is add in some reflective glow, but also it looks like it's glowing like a neon sign. So firstly, we've, so we've chosen that. So second, what we need to do now is create a selection of the area that we want to glow. So what we want to do is create a selection of the uh, logo here. Now I'm going to be using the pen tool today, but you can choose any selection tool of your choice. So what we're going to do is just click and then click and drag if you are using the pen tool. We just want to make a nice quick selection of that area, making sure that we've got a nice smooth selection. And try and match the logo or whatever design you've gone for, try and match it as perfect as you can. So once we've done that, we'll move on to the next shape. Now depending on what shape uh, and size or depending on what tool, I do prefer using the pen tool when creating selections, uh, but again it's all up to you guys and your personal preference, you can use the lasso tool or you can use the quick selection tool or even the selection tool in the effects panel at the top but it's completely up to you what you would like or what your own personal preference is. But for this video and for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the pen tool as I think it is the best for this what result we are after. So if you want to use the same as me, it will be using the pen tool. Brilliant. So once we have uh, made the selection, the first thing you want to do is go ahead to our path tool. You can find it next to your layers tool. You want to make sure we've got the Worth Park selected that we've chosen. And we just want to double click and we can call it anything we want. But the default name will be path and then how many paths we've made. So we're going to call this one path three today. So once we've made that selection, all we need to do is press command click on that selection. And as, it, as you can see, it turns into a selection. 
Right, so what we want to do is go to our background layer and what we need to do is create a new layer of a solid color. And the best way to do this is creating a solid color adjustment layer because then we can change the color afterwards. So we'll go down to our adjustment layers here and then we're gonna go up to the very top and we're going to be selecting solid color. So once we've selected solid color, we could choose any color we like, but I find for the best results, we're going to choose white. So we're gonna add a choose pure white there, lovely. So once we've done that, we can zoom in and you can see it's just a little bit too harsh. So what we can do is we can go into the layer mask selection. So we can either hold down Alt or you can just click on the thumbnail. And what it'll do is it'll pop up with the selection we've just made. Now you want to head over to the left hand side, we've got the blur tool. And what we can do is actually blur the lines. So make sure we've got the mode, we've got it on normal and you can have the strength anything you like. I like mine at 100% but having my opacity of the brush down a little bit. And then we could just, just apply a little bit of blur to that selection we've just made. And as you can see, we go back into it now and it's created this nice, even, consistent blur. So once we've done that, what we need to do now is add in the glow effect. And the way we can do this is by creating an outer glow using our layer stylizing box. So the way to get that up is if we want to go on the layer, so make sure we've got color fill one, and we just want to double click when we've come up with double click, it comes up with our layer stylizing box. We want to make sure we go all the way down to outer glow. And what we need to do is all we need to do is click. Right, so I'm going to reset um, all of this to default. So I've got the same, uh, looking at the same screen you'll be. And what you want to do is just zoom in. And you want to play around with all of the different um, uh, styles here. So you can choose the colour. So I think today we're going to choose a nice bright blue so I think we're going to go for a, a blue like this and you can see in the preview window it will start to show you what the effect will look like also if you want to click preview it will automatically apply it to the photo so you can play around as much as you like so we're going to increase the opacity slightly to make it a little bit stronger and then also we want to increase the size and as you can see it's now starting to take effect a little bit so basically the way to increase size is either you changing the size and changing the range the more you reduce the range, the brighter it will become, but it will create these harsh lines. So you just need to find a balance between range and size. So we increase the range slightly, I think, and just decrease the range and increase the size. So at the end, I think we'd go for a 100 pixel size with a 45% range. And I think what we're gonna do is increase our opacity to around 90%. Making sure we've got our blending mode screen selected, but that's default, and making sure we've got a nice blue to transparent gradient in our gradient panel here. So once we've done that and you're happy with the results, I think I'm just gonna reduce the range down just a little bit. All you need to do is press OK. And as you can see, the glow effect is really now starting to take shape. So what we need to do now is just need to add in some extra reflective glow to the surrounding area to make it look realistic. And the way we can do that is by creating a gradient map. So we're going to go to our bottom panel here. We're gonna to go to our little um, uh, button here, adjustment layers, and we're gonna go and select gradient map. And once we've selected gradient map, as you can see it pops up with the uh, gradient here, we need to change this gradient, to having our blacks on the left hand side and our bright colors on the right. So what we're going to do is just uh, select our dark color. So we all have whatever color we've chosen. So we've got this blue. So we're going to choose a nice dark version of that blue. And then we want to choose a nice bright version of this color. So we're going to choose a nice bright blue here. Lovely. And what we want to do is move this um, location to 50%. So we have our darks. We have our midtones here, and what we want to do now is just create a new swatch, like so. And we just want to add a little bit of highlights. So we're going to add in some bright colour here. Lovely. So as you can see, we've got our highlights, we've got our midtones, and we've got our darks. And if we have a look at the whole photo, as you can see, it's applied it to the entire photo. So once we've uh, come up with this effect, all you need to do is press OK. And there we go. So we've got that effect but we only want to apply to certain areas and we want the blending mode to make it look like it's reflective. So we're gonna to go to our blending mode first and we're gonna drop it down to screen. And then what we want to do is just change this 
and we want to invert it. So we're going to press Command I, and what that will do is it will invert the white to black. And now we can start painting in areas that we want to have a reflective glow to. So what we want to do is go to our brush tool. We want a nice big soft brush. So you can change this by going up to our brush size selection up here. And we want a nice 0% hardness and quite a large size. And we also want to change the opacity probably down to 50%. And then we want to change the flow down to maybe around 30%. But have a play around with it. And then you just want to dab ever so slightly over the area just to add in some initial glow to the surrounding area. Lovely. And then what you can do is you can start adding in glow areas a little bit more purposefully to areas of brightness. So we can add in a bit of glow along here, a bit of glow along here. Lovely. Possibly a bit of glow here, a bit of glow here. And you can keep on playing around until you are happy with the results. Think a little bit here. No, I don't like it up there. Lovely. And then what you can do is you can start adding it into the surrounding area. So we can add a little bit along this uh, tree here like so and as you can see it starts adding it in to the rest of the atmosphere and then once you're happy with that you can either reduce the opacity if you feel that that is needed or you can just keep it the same so I'm going to reduce the opacity to around 85% lovely and to really make this pop what we can do now is we can add a curves adjustment layer to darken the rest of the image but not affect the glow so the way we can do that is by grouping the glow. So we're going to press Command G. So Shift, click on the areas and press Command G, comes up with our group. We're going to call the group Glow. And we want to make sure our curves adjustment layer is below the glow. So we want to select our background. We want to go to our adjustment layers and we want to go and select the curves. And then what we want to do is just bring down the highlights and then bring down the midtones just slightly like so. And you can see it's really starting to make it pop but it's a little bit too dark. So what we can do is we can adjust our gradient to turn it into a little bit more of a vignette style. So we go for something like so. And there we go, guys. So if we have a look at the before and after, there we go, guys. So that is how you can create a neon glow effect to clothing and footwear in Photoshop 2020. Brilliant. And there we go, guys. So that is how you can apply this neon glow effect to clothing and footwear to really make your portrait photos stand out. Now, again, guys, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, guys, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future content. But until next time, guys, keep creating.